Back here on Oahu, a playground in West Oahu gaining some attention and not in a good way. Nikki Shenfeld was in EVA today. She joins us now with more. Nikki. Yeah, Bridget, the playground at Geiger Park isn't in good shape. From holes in the slide to screw bolts missing on the jungle gym, parents there tell me it's been like that for quite some time. Holes, graffiti, rust, and missing bolts. Yet kids are still being kids enjoying the playground at Geiger Park. Councilwoman Kimberly Marcos Pine checked out the park earlier this week. Well, we discovered a serious damage to the slides and the jungle gym system there. The slide situation, especially children, can be seriously injured in using that. And this is just unacceptable. Parents agree and are concerned. So there's areas where it's rusted out and the metal flexes down and it's weeks, months away from like some kid's foot going through. Parents tell me another area of concern is the stability of the playground because as you can see behind me, all of this rust down here and when I just take one small step onto it, it starts to sink down. And parents tell me that it's actually been like this for years. This park, for the three years that I've been here, I've seen this place sort of just deteriorate. It's kind of been off the radar and uh, um, there, there hasn't been the upkeep here that's kind of needed. One of the parents tells me he reached out to the city back in December and was told the park would be fixed in 60 days. And when it wasn't, he decided to do something about it. And so today, a group of veterans, with the help of their families, came out to clean the park. This is our community, so we want to help in any way that we can. And I know that it's just graffiti and it's never really going to harm anybody, but there's just something about when you look at something that's all tagged up. People don't want to interact with it as readily as they do when it's clean and, and looks usable. The Department of Parks and Recreation tells me the playground is set to be replaced this year as part of Mayor Caldwell's CACO for Parks program. Since the mayor's program launched in 2015, 19 parks have received new playgrounds. Geiger Park will be added to that list. We'll let you know when that happens. Bridget, back to you. Nikki, thank you.